I'm working on my work dress a girl around the world project so I volunteered to do five dresses I got the bands done last night so I'm gonna set those aside here and I actually I'm going to work on the pockets here in a minute but I had two of them that I had to do a little bit differently than what well it's the same basic thing that they call for they call for a 6 by 12 piece and you're supposed to take that 6 by 12 piece fold it in half and then sew all the way around but leave an opening here and then you can turn it out so that's the same basic thing I actually had to cut the pocket for this in two pieces though because when I get it turned out which I don't have right now it's still the wrong way around but when I get it turned out it's got um, I had to fussy cut for some tigers so let me see if I can you know what I'll get this one turned out and then I'll just edit through this or here I tell you what no actually I'm getting it here I'll just speed this part up how's that <laughs> And I don't have my turner over here. I left it in the other room. That's all right. This one will work too. With the four in one tool, when I'm turning something out, I find that I have to be really careful because it's got such a such a point to it. Could easily just poke right through the corner. But anyhow, um. So yeah, so it's got a cute little tiger on each pocket. So instead of doing the 6x12 piece, I had to cut them actually two 6x6 pieces. So then I'll just, it's the same, same basic thing. I just needed to cut it that way so that I got my tiger. This was actually a piece of scrap from one of the Soya yeah bags. And... <clears throat> It was already cut really close to the tiger's mouth, so I had to, some of that's going to come off of there, but I still like his eyes, and I like the color, so I just thought it would be really cute. But anyhow, I just thought I'd show you that I did that one a little bit different, but it still worked, so, and the rest of these I'm literally just going to fold in half, sew around all four sides. You don't technically probably have to sew this side because when you turn it out it's going to flatten down and you're going to have to sew it on. Um, but actually I think, yeah, no, actually I will sew any, anyway because this will be the top of the pocket when you turn it inside out and you want it to lay flat. So. All right. I'm gonna scooch up and I'm gonna do some sewing. Right off the bat, I wasn't thinking there. I need to do a little bit of the edge here. And actually, my pocket is off just a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and scooch in a bit more. And whenever I am leaving an opening, I try to backstitch um, just so that it's the stitching stays when I turn it out. And I can't remember if 
if the instructions called for quarter inch. Yeah, usually on the dresses it's a half inch, but it'll be fine for the pockets. And I could go back and do a half inch seam, but it'll be fine. So then I'm just going to go ahead and turn this out. And then when we go to sew it down, I got to turn this one out a little bit better, but when we go to sew it, sew it down to the front of the dress, you'll sew it right along there and that'll seal it up. So, all right, I'm going to finish these and I'll bring you back. So my binding strip, or not binding, this is not binding, uh, the shoulder ties were cut two inches wide by width of fabric, and then they were just, these These are actually the cuff. So these are the seven inch cuff, You're, I'm just going to fold in half and iron down, that, and then I'm going to set these aside to add on to the dress at a later point. But the ties that I did last night are actually two inch cuts by width of fabric. And you just fold them in and sew your seams inside. So it really becomes about a half an inch tie, but you're, you got a quarter inch seam inside on both sides. So, actually, I guess that would make it a quarter inch, wouldn't it? <laughs> Anyhow. Um, but it becomes a much smaller tie. You literally take it like this. You fold it in half like you did the, like I did this cuff right here. And then you just fold it in half again, meeting the iron mark here. And then you fold it about like so. You actually could just fold it in half and then fold it in half again, but you'd have a raw edge. So you literally just take the ties. Let me make sure that I'm on camera when I show this. So if I were doing the same thing with this cuff right here, I would literally fold it in half, iron it, and then bring it back apart, fold this down to the fold line here, iron it, fold this down to the fold line, iron it, and then fold the two together. <clears throat> but since we're doing this for the cuff, I just want it folded in half and pressed, so. Right, so I'm gonna finish doing these cuffs and I'm going to set those aside and then I'm going to work on the rest of the actual dress. Alright, so i got five of these to do all together so I'll bring you back when I'm ready to work on the dress. Okay, so I already cut my fabric to 26 inches by width of fabric but now I'm going to cut off the salvage and then I'm going to do the armholes. So let me get the salvage off of here. So just cut that away. And then I'm actually going to take this piece and I'm going to fold it in half. I still have my fold down here. I'm going to take care of that in a little bit, but I mean, it's, and I should probably iron, but so fold that in half. It'll be just a little bit off, I think. Here. Okay. 
And then I'm going to measure one inch in. And I don't really want to use the black. Let's use the blue. And about an eighth of an inch more fun. It's cut here, but it's probably just... All right, so I'm going to measure one inch in. So in a way, it feels like this is going to create four armholes. It is. It's two for each side, so. And then eight and a half inches down. bit off here so one two three four five six seven eight and a half so just want to basically go eight and a half And right here, there should be a curve. And then, you know, I'm going to get a different pen. I'm going to go ahead and go with the red since I'm going to cut it off. But red is notoriously one that um, bleaches, so be very careful using it. But this is literally going to get cut off, so... Alright, and since I've got four layers together, I'm going to go ahead and pin this cut this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try it with the rotary. The worst thing that happens is I make a mistake and this ends up being scrap fabric for a quilt. I'll go about so far. Let's see if I can cut any circle. Didn't quite cut all the way through is the problem. Okay, well, when all else fails. There. All right, so now I have my armholes for both sides. And I'm going to Go ahead and cut off the end here. I don't know. I feel like I cut it the wrong way. Because it's so wide. Why is it so wide? I did. I cut it the wrong way. Oh, crap. Hmm. Okay, well, let's 
see how I'm going to salvage this. Okay, so I messed up and cut it from the wrong direction. So you want it 26 inches in length, 21 wide. Well, 21 and a half, I guess, is what I've got. 21 to 22 is what it says. So I'm going to leave the width. I'm going to leave in the fold. I want to leave in the fold. And I have shortened it too much now, but I'm going to fix it by adding some more to the cuff later on. So I'm just going to continue with this piece here. And now I need to fold it this direction. And then I'll cut out all four armholes. I should have realized when I was looking at it, I'm like, this is this looks like a short, this looks like a baby dress, not a little girl dress. And now it looks more like a little girl. Uh, and it had been so wide that should have <laughs> been my tip off. Anyhow, mistakes happen and we figure it out. <laughs> So, let's see if the black will show up. Yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half. I don't really know why I'm putting the marks. I, well, I guess I know why. I want to create the curve. So, one inch in eight and a half inches down. And yep, that's right. So, and then kind of creating my curve right there. All right. Okay, but now I know how to do it right for the next four, so that's good. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I took that away. I need that. I think I still have just got a lot of brain fog going on. fingers out of the way. I'm not getting enough of a curve. press too hard. We have to get an eraser and try to take that one out. That one too now. Oh. Yeah. Alright, so then I got my armholes. Um, let's open it up and take a look. Got my fold on one side. Armholes should be even. I don't know why they're not. Because mm. my fabric's not quite. Uh oh. Yeah, show a little lopsided.
lopsided. That's interesting. Cut it off at the top, then they'll be okay. Let's see. Maybe it's just, uh, I guess it's just an optical illusion. <laughs> that one is a little bit. Everything seems to be lining up. Just seems like it's. Maybe it's because it's cut kind of rough there. I don't you know. Okay, so I got my armholes cut out. Now I just need to go ahead and cut it apart. So I just trim off a tiny bit here to cut it. Could just you know what? I'm just gonna take my scissors actually. Just cut it right in half. And then I started to roll back the sleeves already. Just got to continue a little bit more here on this one. And then so just finish rolling that back and sew that down. I got it pretty good on the other side. We'll have to roll this one a little bit more when I'm actually sewing it. Okay, so I'm just folding under the armholes here, and I'm going to sew those down. It's going to get kind of tricky there on the curve, but I just want, it's not really a quarter of an inch. It just needs to be a small little strip. Probably an eighth of an inch. Well, it might be wider up here at the top, but that's okay. And I'm just going to go real slow because I'm real close to the edge here. going to get to having some trouble when I get into the curve here, but... There, I'm starting to come up already. It's been a while since I've done a little girl's dress, so there we go. All right, and I'm going to do some back stitching just to make sure I got it. In fact, I'm probably going to go ahead and stitch around this edge a little again just to be sure. If 
my stitching's not real pretty, I may just uh, hand stitch on some rickrack. But we'll see. I got a little piece there that needs to come out. I think that was just the beginning. Yeah, that's just the beginning. And a couple little pieces here. This will get sewn into the seam, so that'll be fine. Because we'll do French seams on the side then, so that'll be encased. And this is just back stitching, so. Actually, that might be in case, too. Alright. Well, I think that one came out okay. Now I just gotta do the other side to this piece and the other two sides to the other piece. Just do the same thing. I'm gonna turn it under. This time I'm going to start actually on the curve and then turn it under and I had it all pressed but it didn't want to, it doesn't want to stay pressed because because of the curve. Okay so I'm just going to iron down a quarter of an inch. I'm going to sew that and then I'm going to, well Actually, I'm going to go ahead and iron down a quarter of an inch, and I'm going to fold down an inch and a half. But I'm going to sew on the quarter inch, and I'm going to sew on the inch and a half. And that's going to create the tube for putting our binding ties through. So, just going about a quarter of an inch here. And then sit right there for a minute. And I will figure out about an inch and a half down. Just an inch and a half down. So that should be enough to get my binding tie through. I feel like my tie is a little bit bigger than that. One second. I'm going to go slightly over an inch and a half just because my tie is a little bit wide. But I think that'll be... Yeah, so it'll be... a three-quarter inch... But if, so I'll have to sew it right on the edge of, I don't know, an inch and a half just doesn't quite seem right. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to go with one and a half. I might be a hair over that. That's going to be fine. I should have measured here on this side too. Let's do that quick. One and a half. This back on the thing. All right, inch and a half. I 
Okay, so I'm going to sew down the quarter inch, and then I'm going to sew it down at an inch and a half. And I'm going to do that for both pieces, and then I'll be, before I do the inch and a half, I'll put this in, because it's easier to do it before, well, maybe I won't, because I'm afraid I'll stitch over it, so I'll just pull it through. which you could actually stitch through it and then it won't slide in and out. That actually might be okay. Because if you stitched it in there, it's not going to go anywhere then when it gets washed or when it gets... Yeah, in fact, I might do that. And that way you can just measure before you stitch this down. You know, measure how far you want it to be out of the sleeve. Alright, we'll see what I come up with. Okay, so I'm gonna sew this down quarter of an inch. Kind of feeling like I should actually fold it in again. But I'm going to when I put the tie in here so I think it'll be all right and there's so much bulk here at the end it doesn't want to keep going here we go there. Fold this down to create the pocket for the tie. Kind of wondering. The thing says to put the tie in later. But I'm sort of thinking. I'm thinking that I could go ahead and put it in now. And then just close it over the top. Let's see, if we fold it in half. Make sure it's in half. And then I'll make sure that I got the same amount of binding on either side. Or I keep calling it binding. Ties. So this isn't going to be perfect, but I think it'll be very close. Yeah, maybe it will be perfect. <laughs> All right. And then... Nope. I need to thread it in later because you got to be able to tie it up. That's my COVID brain there. Alright. So the 
this down at the one and a half inch mark. And I'm going to sew this closer to the edge so that it holds down really well. Okay. Okay, pretty good. Oh. I don't know why it does that sometimes. I'm gonna cut this off and then make sure that it might need to sew it back down again. I have to sew that down again, but I just don't like it when it, I don't know why it bunches sometimes. Okay. See, and it did it on the back then. <laughs> Just loves to bunch. It's not so bad when it's inside of a quilt, but I don't want it on the outside of a garment. Alright, so I got the top piece, now I'm going to need to get the other piece. Okay, so I need to do French seams to get the little dress part together here. And this is where, if I hadn't done French seams before, my sick brain would be freaking out right now. Um, but really, I just need to do a seam on one side and you can see that I've got my right side face up. What's going on? Well, that's the French seam way. I'm going to have wrong sides together, sew a seam, quarter inch seam, and then I'm actually going to flip it around inside out, and then I'm going to sew another quarter inch seam, which is going to encase this seam. 
In fact, I'll probably sew this a little bit less than a quarter of an inch just to make sure that my seam actually goes inside when I flip it around. So, either that or I'll do my inside seam a little bit wider than a quarter of an inch. That's probably the better way to go. Let's try to keep this one just a little bit short. And that one a little bit too, too much. Just so that I don't have any fabric coming out. stitch here. Oh, maybe not. Okay, I'm going to fold it inside out. <laughs> All right, and I should take this over. I'm going to take this over and press. Okay, I iron the seam down. Now I'm gonna sew my other quarter of an inch. Um, like I said, I might go just a little bit long. Try to go a little more than a quarter of an inch just to make sure that steam actually is in there and I don't have any fabric sticking through here. call that three-eighths. It's not even three-eighths. Yeah, just a, I don't know, about a sixteenth over a quarter. <laughs> Dad's yelling at me to get my fractions right, <laughs> but my brain can't think. not quite hmm Take a look and turn it back inside out, upside in, I guess. <laughs> okay, well, that's a pretty good French seam. I'm gonna have to cut away a couple strings that were hanging off, but I think that went pretty well. All right, next up is doing a French seam with the cuff. So, right sides together. Actually, wrong sides together. I had to think about that for a second there. And I need to remember which one am I using. I believe this one right here. So I'm going to have a very colorful All right, I gotta stop and think about this a minute. Okay. Hang on. <laughs> All right, I got my wrong sides together. 
So technically my cuff doesn't have a wrong side. It's seven inch by with the fabric piece that I folded in half and it's going to end up on my dress as the cuff. Um, it technically doesn't have a wrong side, but that's all right. I'm calling one side the wrong side. Um, all right, so just sew my quarter inch seam. the seam on the side of the dress. That's all right. than I do dress. That's kind of what I knew was going to happen. That's okay. Just trim that away. All right, so now I'm going to take this over and press it down, and then I'll come back and we'll do the French seam. Okay, so now I'm going to do my half inch seam and then we'll have our French seam holding in the cuff Actually, I don't think that's a half inch, that's a three eighths, but close enough. I should have changed all my feet.
Okay, so that has our cuff on there. Just going to have to clean up some threads. I should have cleaned them up before I sewed, but... Well, I'll get the rest of them later. All right, now we just want to sew on our pockets. Okay, so the pattern says split pockets two to three inches from the side. So each each side. So I went three inches from the side that I have sewn, which the instructions don't say this, but it should be three and about three quarter inches from this side then because I still have to put the French seam in on this side. So I'm going to use probably about three quarters of an inch to do that. So I still might be, you know, sixteenth quarter of an inch off, somewhere in that range. Um, and as I'm looking at it right here, it seems like this is lower than this one, but it's not. It was fine when it was on the table, so hopefully it's not. <laughs> I guess we're going to go ahead. And then basically then for these pockets, because I already sewed them together and turned them inside out and just have this opening right here, I'm just going to sew all the way around three sides and it'll be secured to the dress then. Um, it does kind of bother me that the seam that's holding this dress in will be visible on the other side um, and open to, you know, we've done all the French seams to keep all of our seams inside and then the pockets themselves will just be open stitching. But Anyhow, I guess they're just pockets, so don't worry about it. <laughs> um, so, what do you think? A quarter inch? I feel like that's almost too far in. Did it say on here? Hmm. Oh, it didn't really say, but I'm going to try to go with right close to the edge. All right, lots of bulk there, so it's gonna not wanna move forward. I'm gonna keep smoothing out my fabric. Unfortunately, my pockets kind of bowed out too. I don't know. Hmm. Yep, the seams aren't going to be real pretty. Oh well. I was thinking I could put brick rack or something on here. Do that by hand. See what I end up having time for. I really kind of want to get to get these sent fairly soon here. I need them by the end of the month, and I just kind of keep feeling like things are going to be happening, and I'm not going to get it done.
that. I was going so slow so that I could stop it. Okay. Alright, well that one's not too bad. So now we'll come back around and get the second one done here. So what I was saying about needing to get them sent out and being worried that I was going to run out of time um, to that end, I have lost the labels. I don't know, I feel like either they accidentally got scooted into a garbage box or I'm going to find them here someday when I'm doing a deep dive cleaning. I've been... I, it's one of those things where I put it in a safe place. <laughs> I'll put them in a safe place. And guess what? I cannot think where they, that is. I'm, per, I'm sure that I had them with the fabrics that I had lined up to do this. And I go to do this, and I can't find them anywhere. But the good news is you can go on to the website. Um... It's actually, I think it's actually technically Hope for Women International, but um, they have a separate page for Dress a Girl Around the World, and you can go on there and actually get um, the labels to, oh, and I've got this one on sideways. Is it going to matter? I don't think so. Um and get the labels to put on the dresses to send. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Actually, I think you can print them to transfer paper, and then transfer it onto a piece of cloth, and then transfer it onto the pocket, or stitch it onto the pocket. So, that's what I'm going to do. Figured I'd look a little bit more, but I can't ransack my whole room just because I have a pretty good feeling it ended up in a burn box. I don't know why I think that. I feel like it fell in there. It's like I feel like the last place I remember them was really close to that box, and it might have somehow got knocked off the table and. I'm just glad that I'll be able to redo it. That would have been very upsetting <laughs> if, um, you know, so yeah, I took the time to send me the labels and I wasn't able to get them applied. thing is just doing the French seam on this side. Okay, camera went off, but I'm just sewing my last seam here on this dress. Last French seam. Not sure why my cuff is off just a little bit. Hmm. Well, that's why I'm going to sew all the way down. Alright, now i got to fix 
this. Should have taken my quarter foot off again. Wasn't paying attention. Again. Struggling with that bulk a little bit, but. Stitch a bit, stitch down a little bit more, and I'm actually going to go ahead and turn this and stitch this off a bit. Just to make sure none of that unravels. See, I don't know why I came out a little bit longer on this end of the cuff. Anyhow. Okay, I got the main form of the dress done. Now I just gotta deal with the ties. Okay, I got my straps pulled through. Sorry, I was trying to think of the word. Straps pulled through, and so now I'm just gonna make sure I still have them even, which I don't think I do. So let me double check. No, I don't. Okay, so you just want to make sure they're evenly pulled through. I find your halfway mark and sew it down so that it holds in there then. So I just want to find my halfway mark and I'm just going to sew a line right there. I was thinking about doing a decorative stitch, but I think I'm just going to do a nice solid line. Pull my thread out of the way here. All right, and then I'm gonna back stitch a couple times just to make sure it's good and secure. good and tight in there. Same on the other side. Make sure nothing shifted. Crease line there so I know where my center mark is. maker I would have done a double stitch um, there's another phrase for it I can't think of but I should have done that and I didn't but um, I did make sure that the steams are, the seams are all folded in I do have some threads to cut off but I made sure to back stitch over things or over the seams, all that kind of stuff. So I do have a thread that's stuck in underneath here. Try to 
get that out of there. to look as nice as I can. I'm not a garment maker, but we still want them to be pretty. I have done some in the past, you know, a little girl-wise, but it's been a long time, so Well, I got the dresses sewn done. Now I just got to get the labels sewn on. Just waiting for some transfer paper to get the labels sewn back on. I just thought I'd get a close-up of these cute pockets here. I thought that was neat. That's just a scrap piece of fabric from a scrappy bag from a sew yeah. And then I thought, I'm going to cut that up just to put those little tigers on the pockets. Unfortunately, the fabric was really close to the mouth on the tiger, but it's still cute. Yep, just got to get the labels on and get them shipped off. Thanks for watching.